Yo, what up? Raw is real episode. I don't know, but man, you know, one of the um, <clears throat> one of the most memorable things I can remember, you know, uh, was uh, you know, of course, uh, I broke up broke up my family, you know, by you know leaving. Uh, but you know. During that time, I had, I used to, this was around the time uh, phones came out with video capabilities. And, you know, a lot of the times I used to spend with my kids, I used to record them, you know, and, you know, record them doing their little daily activities and playing and catching them off guard and recording them. And, you know, I had like, you know, I had Sprint, so it's like, you know, I had a couple of uh, old phones. And, uh, you know, I would, I, I left my family in 2005. I broke up the home then. And, uh, you know, so every day from 2005, I would look at these videos of my children and, you know, try to, you know, try to make myself a better person, you know. But I always looked at the videos and either phone often, you know. And uh, when I moved out of the hood in 2008, uh, moved into an apartment out in Naperville, and, um, I, uh, you know, I kept the phones in my drawer, and, you know, I tried, I didn't look at them as much, but, uh, you know, there would be times I wouldn't still look at them, but anyway, 2008, uh, my apartment got broken into, uh, we lived on the ground level, and we left out and left the windows open by mistake, and, you know, somebody crawled in the window and took, took stuff vandalized the house. I mean, they didn't really vandalized the house. If they went through stuff, they took a PlayStation I had um, and went through the drawers. You know, they didn't take any clothes or leather jackets or nothing like that. They, they went into and they didn't even take my laptop, surprisingly. Um, but they went in the drawer, went through my drawers, and they found those two phones with, uh, with the videos in them, and they took them. And, you know, that was like, you know, it was like a hurtful thing because, of course, my kid's still alive and this and that, but those are memories that I was going to, you know, when I had time and the money, you know, to uh, transfer them over and save them on, like, some kind of computer or something, uh, you know, I was going to do that. You know, that back then, they didn't have it like whereas now you can just stick the cord in and it goes, you know, hook your computer can read it. Back then, it wasn't like that, but, you know, that was, like, one of the most hurtful one of one of the hurtful memories that I have you know you know and I you know to this day uh, I can't you know me and my daughter my youngest daughter we don't have a really a relationship at all but I, I you know when I lived with her you know she was five when I left she's she, she's 19 now but you know when I was there I, I, I you know I had those memories I was gonna someday show up like look this this is how much time I used to spend with you and see you, but, you know, a thieving bastard took that away from me, and I live with it, you know, just, you know, just thankful that they're still alive, whereas I can make, or potentially make new memories, but, you know, it ain't nothing like those memories, you know. All right, I'm out. Raw is real.